It all began when we met the notorious Cash Me Outside girl on Dr. Phil's show. Remember that fiery appearance? Those were the words that shot her straight into the limelight, and since then, she has been charting her path to fame. Now, in the realm of celebrities, there is this trend where those seeking a fresh dose of notoriety entertain the idea of joining OnlyFans. It's like a badge of honor for reality TV villains, rebellious Disney stars, and the perpetual favorites of British tabloids. But back in February 2021, Bad Baby shook things up with a bold statement on her Instagram stories. Once she turned 18, she jumped on the OnlyFans train. But wait, hold up, here's the twist. No nudity or explicit content. Then, April 1st rolled around, and the celebration of her 18th birthday wasn't the only thing happening. Nope, it was time to put words into action. With a tweet that screamed, I got tired of y'all asking, so screw it, but if I'm gonna do it, it's gonna be wild and crazy AF. Give it two weeks and we're breaking the internet. Bad Baby unleashed her wild side on OnlyFans, and let me tell you, the internet didn't know what hit it. Within a mere six hours, she made history by raking in a mind-blowing $1 million. So today, my friends, we're diving deep into the epic rise of Bad Baby. From her Dr. Phil days to her smashing debut on OnlyFans, we've got it all. This is Stardorm Central. Danielle Brigoli, or as we all know her, Bad Baby, hails from Boynton Beach, Florida, where she had an eventful upbringing with her parents, Ira Peskowitz and Barbara Ann Brigoli, parting ways soon after she entered the scene. Growing up, it was mostly her mom who was around, and they followed the Catholic faith, while her dad, a deputy at the Palm Beach County Sheriff's Office, wasn't as present in her life. But the real game changer was her appearance on Dr. Phil. On the show, Danielle and her mom split the tea on her behavior, including a crazy incident of stealing a crew member's car while they were filming. The audience couldn't help but laugh, which got Danielle all fired up. She fired back with her now famous line, Cash me outside, how about that? The way she said it with her unique accident made it sound more like, Cash me outside, how about that? And just like that, she became the Cash Me Outside girl and the world of memes would never be the same. Her catchphrase even inspired a DJ named Sue the Remix God to turn it into a single that shot up the charts, earning her a spot on the Billboard Hot 100, streaming songs and hot R&B hip-hop songs. But she didn't stop there. Danielle and her mom took legal action against three companies for using her catchphrase without permission and even threatened to sue Walmart for printing it on t-shirts. The catchphrase frenzy even got her a nomination at the 2017 MTV Movie and TV Awards in the trending category. However, fame wasn't all roses for her. She found herself in some serious trouble after Dr. Phil's appearance. She ended up at the Turnabout Ranch in Utah, a place for troubled teens. But her troubles didn't end there. She faced legal issues and had to deal with probation. Luckily, she got a new lawyer who managed to cut her probation short, and by March 2018, she was free. In March 2021, Brigoli dropped a bombshell on her YouTube channel, opening up about her disturbing experiences at the Turnabout Ranch, alleging abuse, sleep deprivation, physical restraints, and bullying. She even called out Dr. Phil for sending vulnerable teenagers to that place, sparking a heated exchange of claims and counterclaims. Be sure you subscribe to this channel and give this video a like if you are enjoying the content. Despite facing backlash from the music industry, Daniel caught the attention of music manager Adam Kluger in early 2017, and soon she was making her mark. Her debut single These Hoes, released in August 2017, landed on the Billboard Hot 100, making her the youngest female rap artist to achieve that feat. Atlantic Records was so impressed that they signed her to a multi-album deal. On November 16, 2018, trouble stirred when Brigoli found herself caught up in a heated feud with fellow rapper Iggy Azalea. At Cardi B's Fashion Nova launch party, things got crazy at Bad Baby threw her drink at Iggy and almost started a brawl. The paparazzi had a field day and the internet was buzzing with the drama. Bad Baby pointed to some Instagram comments from Iggy as the trigger for her outburst, and Iggy didn't hold back, firing off tweets condemning her behavior. Recently, Bad Baby decided to give her fans an inside look at her life and music career with her reality show Bringing Up Baby. Exclusive on Snapchat as one of their Snap Originals, the series followed her daily adventures and journey in the music industry. It was a massive hit, racking up over 10 million viewers in just 24 hours. Her star power was shining brighter than ever. 
Now, here's a twist you won't see coming from the Cash Me Outside girl. In June, she made a courageous move and checked herself into a rehab facility for 31 days. She was determined to confront her childhood trauma and battle her prescription medication addiction. In 2021, her life took a new turn. On April 1st, just six days after turning 18, she blew everyone's minds by launching her own OnlyFans account. And guess what? Within a mere six hours, she made a jaw-dropping $1 million in revenue. Yep, you heard that right, $1 million. Her fans couldn't get enough, flooding her account with subscriptions, messages, and tips. But Bad Baby didn't stop there. She backed up her claims with evidence of earnings exceeding a whopping $50 million. And in the world of OnlyFans, that put her in the top 0.01% of earners, beating even Bella Thorne's record from the year before. But the girl's got more tricks up her sleeve. In September 2021, she launched her very own record label, Bad Music, to drop her highly anticipated debut EP. The first single, Misunderstood, hit number 8 on the Billboard Digital Song sales chart, leaving fans hungry for more. It served as a glimpse of what's to come and set the stage for her upcoming EP. So there you have it, an electrifying journey of luck, entrepreneurship, and hard work that turned Bad Baby into a force to be reckoned with. From feuds to fame, and from rehab to record labels, she's proven that with determination and savvy moves, she can conquer any challenge that comes her way. That's it for today. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that subscribe button and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Let us know your opinions in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.